Hello, I'm Shakaval, and welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2 and Muslim India. So, in the last episode, we uh, created a duchy, created a kingdom. I was having a quick poke around the map before I started, and I realised three things. A, Bulgaria is massive. B, the Magyars still haven't actually settled, and the date is 9 901. So, yeah, they usually create Hungary really quickly. They have, haven't at all. Bulgaria is still massive. And also, Armenia over here, the big big brown Armenian blob is yeah well blobbing quite a bit actually which is surprising uh, going on out else in the world is pretty much the same England's a huge mess you know, everywhere else you know exactly the same pretty much big anyway back to here oh, also the thing else I noticed was Baklustan has become independent from the Safrid dynasty so they might be a target Although I can't actually get them at the moment. I've no uh, valid CB on them because of these mountains. If I owned this province here, then I would. But this dude is now... I thought that was an ally map mode. Ah, no, because my father died. So I don't have any allies. I do have two allies. Both the Kurds, both my uh, brothers. Or my uncles even, should I say? Yeah, my uncles. So I don't actually have any allies anymore because my father died. Should we get press the play button, so that's rather annoying. So you've got to be very careful with that. Uh, how many men does this dude have next to me? He's got one, th uh, well, up to 5,000. I only have, where, where's my military? So just over 2,000 men. Currently just over 1,000 men. So very careful, no one declares war on me. Um, do not speak to me of obligations and duties. I may be your vassal, but that does not, not make you a slave. I have my full rights to associate with whichever faction I wish. So, I believe last time we tried to get him out of a faction, which didn't work, and now he absolutely hates me. This dude here. Ah, uh, nuts. Okay, so... Harai, I name you a pretender. Thakur Shukland of Kabul is a true lord of Banu Sama Kingdom. I was recognised by myself and the other nobles who relinquish this title. Relinquish this title, or there will be war. So, uh, Strickland, I think, is my uncle, is he? So yeah, he's the guy I made Thakur of Kabul, who actually likes me a lot. Even though apparently, allegedly, I fired him from the council, which I didn't. Um. So he's going to rise up against me, which is rather annoying. But I will not be blackmailed. I do have a bit of gold to create, raise some... Uh, there we go. So he's declared his revolt on me. He's only got 800 men, so I can actually raise more than that. Just. <laughs> just about. So can I get these 200 men out before he gets there? So 10th of August. 30th of June, the 11th of August. June... June, so when does he get? 10th of August. So I can get rid of. Actually, let's. M maybe he will change his mind. Probably not, but you never know. Everyone else can form up on here. Um, apparently, I can push ducal claims out on this guy because he's revolting against me. But I can't because he's revolting against me. And also, another issue I've got is that I've raised my head levies for the um, occupation of this territory quite a bit so no one likes me but I'm defending so I don't know if that will change or not so, oh crap so he's actually sped up now so 6th to the 10th of August oh no he's not sped up the time sped up isn't he? what an idiot um, so this guy I'm going to disband him so my army of 8 will make it out uh, actually no it's the same day so I'm going to disband them as well so how many men have I actually got I have 979, so I should have enough to fight both fight both of them off. But we shall see. Uh, more factions. No, not factions here, never mind. So we're going to form up on here and then attack them both. Probably this guy because he's got the least uh, um, morale. Thakur shares justice as a rock peace to a troubled province. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard in the province. The pence have never been happier. So my steward has been praised for a sense of justice. That's good. Does it give me anything? Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, he can't actually um, siege that. So if we're going to try and meet up his men. 
perfect, so this guy likes me a bit more. So, right, let's check my vassals out quickly, shall we? My vassals, who doesn't like me? So, my brother doesn't like me, funny enough. So, let's um, go and to my uncle. Let's do that. So, once these men reach here, then we'll uh, form a battle plan, probably attack this guy here. And then attack this dude before they all meet up, because... Right, let's raise some... Uh, no, trying to find... There we go, it's a decent leader of men, who doesn't have a... I can't change him. That's fine, I need to raise my crown authority as well at some point. Obviously not now, because I'm a child and I don't want... All these revolt problems. Right, let's march these guys. If this fails, we do have. Oh, this is going to be close. So they will, we probably will join the battle. But that kid mocked me. I cannot be blamed for punching him in the face and giving him a nosebleed. So I gain the Wrath trait, which is plus three martial, which will be good. Minus one intrigue and minus one diplomacy. Not too bad. So I believe I'm going to get the. Um, is it Great Eminence? Education thing eventually. So there we go. We've destroyed him. So we're going to chase him back into his territory. So we've got that offset that. So Roth is actually probably a pretty good one for me to have. Give me more, more, more martial, which means more men for my levy. So that's always a bonus. Has this gone up? So no, it's actually going down. So a defensive vault doesn't count for having your, vassal, your men raised. Ooh, we're kind of getting a bit close on men here. But I've got more morale, so I should beat him every time. Or at least that. Here we go. So, I'm hoping to capture him, or maybe when defeat his army, that might pop up to 100%. Who knows? Although he can probably raise more men once these are defeated. Oh, and he's still got them, but I've got four, four times the amount of men he has now, so that's handy. Ah, and my uncle likes me a bit more. Perfect. 25, I'll let that try and um, go again. So, will he... No, he won't accept that. So, Benu Sama revolt for war for Thakur Strickland's claim on Punjab. So, even if he won, I would still. Yeah, I was just checking him out actually. But yeah, it's my hunchback uncle. But I'd still. I would play as him if he took on my territory? Probably, yes. He's raised 10 more men up there. Can I siege through this lot? Well, actually, I can raise. I've got more men to raise now, haven't I? So, all these dudes can come down here. That's 300 more men that I couldn't raise because he marched his men onto them. And he did have a bit more than me. And then Uncle likes me some more. So we can... Let's have a look at my vassals again. So this guy here doesn't... Well, he's indifferent to me, so we'll make him like me. So that's the plan. He's got 10 men here. I'm not really bothered by those 10 men. I'm just going to leave them. Quite how much? how many men do I see here? He's got 600 there and 500 garrison. And hopefully, all these will be able to be able to siege through there. What's that? Uh, faction somewhere is finished. So there we go. Now, now we can siege through with a thousand men. So we're just going to wait for that to siege. Oh, he's marching men somewhere. At war with him. So yeah, they're at war with each other. Not that, not that I want him to blob and become any bigger, of course, but. Hey ho, might be this one guy might get a bit weaker, so I might be able to pick him off a little bit. And the Regency has ended. So I'm now legal. I've become a great eminent. So I am wrath and humble. So I have 15, 15 diplomacy, 3 martial, 1 stewardship, 7 intrigue, and 6 learning. Wow, this is just pretty shitty stats, but that's what you get when your uh, ruler dies before you can properly educate your kid. I do have a decent beard. I have one too many domain size, but I can get married. I can't pick the get married ambition, but I'm going to pick the. Uh, let's have a look. I actually want better stewardship, so I'm going to go with improve. Actually, let's quickly marry this lady here, and see what that does to my <coughs> um, domain limit. First of all, there. Let's boost the back to five. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do. It's pick an ambition. I'm going to pick intrigue to get that up by one, which will be an easy hundred prestige, which 
I can always do do with right now. So right, I'm married. I need to find some more wives first of all. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Shall we? Any geniuses? Oh, she's quick. Twenty-eight. Mm, let's have another look. I really want to raise my kid to be a decent, or my heir to be a decent marshal. So it means I need to be able to um, finish educating them so I can give them a decent diplomacy score as well. Actually, she's quick. Yeah, she'll do. She's 17. Right, so let's carry on with this. And then I will... Oh, I can start plotting now, can't I? So this is quite handy. So where's my... Who will I actually marry in the end? So yeah, oh yeah, genius. So she's got really good stats. So hopefully she'll give me some decent children. Right, let's marry one other person, shall we? Uh, oh, did I just not marry her? No, I didn't. I married someone else. Oh, strong 24 year old. We'll marry her. Excellent. So, now, oh yeah, plotting. That's what I do. Injury. What plots can I do? I can plot to revoke two titles from my vassal or my court imam. We're not going to do that. Are there any factions? No factions. That's good. Mainly because I'm uh, sieging slowly through this territory here. Shun with anger at what? Zanib Tari called another disastrous judgment of your chief Kwadi. Zanib Tari suggested I would choose another person for the very important position of chief Kwadi. I'm not sure. I might have to Google what a chief Kwadi actually does. So she wants this guy to be my chief Kwadi. Is it like a honorary title? Chief Architects. Oh, wait, I've got honorary titles to hand out actually. I might do that in a bit. Because. So who's my current chief quality? Is my uncle, who is. Let's have a look. Is he still my vassal, or is he the one rebelling against me? Uh, where are you, uncle? There we go. So I was this guy here. So it's not not the one rebelling against me. Um, I have no idea what the chief quality is, but I want my wife to what my wife to like me. I guess. Um, hmm, no, actually, I'm not. Does he get any bonuses for being chief quality? Plus fifteen. So he does like me sixty six though. So I guess nice. No, ignore that woman. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And then. Someone's died and inherited some, somewhere. <laughs> oh, deaths all around. I missed that that was. Oh, he was murdered at age five. On the orders of this guy, who is my vassal, who I probably have righteous imprisonment on. Does he like me at all? 14. I'm going to leave him for now. Ah, my wife is pregnant. My quick wife, my quick content wife. So we have got that, I can pull out the hat if I need to. My, is it my prisoner? Who's, who's, who is he? His dad is the Marshal of Bam. It's him. Why is he my prisoner then? That's strange. His mother... Oh, his mother died in my dungeons like eight years ago. So he must have been a rebel or something, or we must have been my enemy at some point anyway. Uh, he's weak. Let's. Well, uh, can I um, ransom him? Nope. <laughs> no interest. Fan. Hang on, I don't want to ransom him. Ransom. This. I want to ransom this guy, not. Her. He's not interested in himself, I don't know, anyway. Let him rot. <coughs> See what I care. <coughs> Still can't enforce my demands. Now, this vassal levy thing is going down, shooting down, that's good. Create another title, which is um, a duchy up here, which I won't be bothering with, as I said in the previous video. Uh, he wants me to reduce his taxes, I flatter and soothe him because I have. Diplomacy is over 10, which is good. 
Let's see, we'll let that siege through. Have a quick look at the world around. Oh, there we go. Sieged. So we're at 85. Can I offer peace? No, he won't accept. So we'll just go and siege that territory there. And I have dragged this guy, the heir to the Thakina of Uk. There we go. So, is he going to surrender? Uh, we surrender. He loses 200 prestige. I gain 100 prestige war contribution. And he's imprisoned. Yeah, so let's go. So, the war is over. Huzzah. And, oh, this guy likes me by 40 for 3. Right, so, let's have a quick look. So I imprisoned this guy, who was this dude here who rebelled against me. Who is she? Someone I don't care about. So he's in prison. And also my uncle is in prison. Who's the uh, Thakur of Kabul. And this dude here is in prison. Oh, so I didn't even realise that he must have raised men as well. Whoopsie daisy, never mind. I think he must have marched off somewhere. And... I've also got this kid here who's in prison, so which I think he's his heir actually. Yes, he's the heir, so I'm gonna leave them all in prison. They can rot all I care. And my vassal limits have raised because I have become older and people like me more. Right, so I can go on a Hajj to Mecca, which I'm gonna do. Lose 50 gold, gain five party from all all is equal in front of God. Dismiss my troops. <clears throat> I'm preparing myself for travel to Me my travel to Mecca. I have not understood. I have understood that there that there are members of my court that have not yet gone on a pilgrimage to Mecca. As Maharaja, it is my duty to be chattel to my people, and I will bring one of them with me. It will make travel more enjoyable, or it is too costly. Let's go with. It will make tra travel more enjoyable. I'm now fully prepared for my travel to Mecca. There will be a ruling, a regent ruling, or Ruling Banu Summer Kingdom whilst I'm away. Onward to Mecca. So let's um, quick check my military. So yeah, I can get, I can raise three and a half thousand men so far. So I'm nearly at my limit. So it's three, four and a half thousand men. I think I can raise if my math is correct, which it may not be. The game still pause. It's silly. Uh, I've been appointed as a regent, so my first wife is my regent. Crikey, she's... Wow, I can have two extra domain limit because of her stewardship. What's it, what is her stewardship? 14, mine is... 1, so yeah. I need really to breed some kids. The kids are good stewardship. A group of bandits are tracking us, seems they're gaining on us. What's my marshal? 3. Is I duty to stop them gain 10 prestige. And it is not possible to outrun these bandits and we are forced to confront them. There's always the possibility that we can survive this. Charge! Or pay them and with our remaining gold. No, good charge, these fuckers. This guy seems to be have an extra province, I believe. It seems if we have managed it seems as as if we have managed to get lost here in the desert. When the humble servant seems as seems as if he might know the right way. I am Maharaja, I know the best way. Lose one health, gain 25 prestige, or listen to the servant. 33% chance of gain trusting, which is minus two intrigue plus one diplomacy. Let's listen, and I've got of course I've got trusting, which brings us down to five and need to get to eight. That's rather annoying. But I gain an extra diplomacy, so there's that. And one of my subjects has converted to the Sunni faith. So where is my court imam? Is this him here? Yes, trying to convert the faith. Yeah, brilliant. My pri my prisoner is complaining about his cell. My I should be merciful. I have a daughter, a uh, quick daughter, of course. Why can't I have a quick son? That'd be really handy. Nana Nan Akai. Yeah, that'll do. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice an old man in poor clothing has made camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you hadith if he, um, he has if you can spare some bread. So we'll listen to him because it's always a good. Bonus, gain one diplomacy, excellent. So who can we declare war on? Uh, as you arrive in Mecca, you start preparing for the evening's prayer where you discover that the water in the well is not entirely pure. This would that this would not be a valid water to use for ablution. Gain 10 piety. So, what performing would do before the night's prayer, a fellow pilgrim points out an impurity in the water. Cleanliness is half of the faith. 
half of faith, ten piety, and this guy, the Sheik Ismit of Odessa, which is all the way over here, likes me by ten for sixty months. Brilliant. So, ah, <laughs> you are now at the Kabar itself, improving the top with seven. We've read this before, so I can shout at every circuit or can only shout the first three times. So, do I really have the humble trait? Mm, I do. But I don't really want the proud traits, so we'll just do that. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.